Welcome back for the second week in the row. The Steelers defense got carved up on the ground. Josh Joey, you know, I mean, TJ Watt is what he is. He's one of the best players in the game. And clearly when he's in there, uh, things are different. But how different can they be if he if he, they're only six without him whenever he misses <laughs> games? And if you even look at games, he's in there at less than 60 percent. They have trouble. It can't be that much of TJ Watt it, or is it is it all him I mean what happens to the defensive schemes that they can't be as effective without him I think a lot of it is uh, look, to me this is a defense with three great players okay with TJ and Cam and Minka I I'm not sure about the rest of the defense I heard people say well in 1995 Rod Woodson tore his ACL on the Steelers well yeah they did I don't see Greg Lloyd or Carnell Lake or a number of other all pros walking through the door it it's a defense based on star power and T.J. Watt's a Hall of Famer. He's a Hall of Famer right in his prime. So, yeah, you lose a guy like that, it makes a difference. And also, this is a defense that relies so much on its pass rush. What else does it really do that well? We, we know it's not that great against the run. I think its coverage is average at best. It's a defense. Yeah, but didn't you think it was going to be better against the run with Ogan Joby coming in? I mean, it has and been. It's just, a healthy Alu Alu, who I don't think has looked I, healthy, I, to be honest. They've not been good against the run, but I think a lot of that is based on exhaustion. They're on the field so often. Right. That's the last two weeks, guys. They were done in the second half. I'm not going to yeah. give them a huge pass for the Cleveland game, only because they didn't have the ball. They weren't defending at the end of the first half. Then you've got the entire halftime break. Then the Steelers actually kept the ball for five-plus minutes to start the second half, and then they got gashed. They also are going against a team that is like poetry in motion, running the football with the best pure <laughs> yeah, runner the best. in the league. But it's funny, to go back to your original question, is T.J. Watt really that? Yeah. We would all talk about him like he's adjacent to Aaron Donald, maybe the greatest defensive player ever in this town. People try to put him in that classification. Well, if you do, then you think he yeah. is that important. Anybody that's that good is that important. I think their big problem is the guys that are supposed to be really good up front, Alu Alu, Hayward, they're not young. It's not yeah. like another team when you take out, if you take Aaron Donald off the Rams, there's still Jalen Ramsey and some younger guys there. It's age, and I think you show your age a lot more easily when you don't have the human eraser out there. Yeah, and I mean, I, I think they're showing their physical ability or lack of physical ability. And we're t I'm not going to disagree with T.J. Watt being a great player. I, I, I've frankly been impressed with some of what Alex Highsmith has done. But Larry Ogunjobi, Tyson Alualu, like you should be more stout up front. You should not be getting pushed off the ball to the extent that the Steelers are. Robert Spillane, Devin Bush inside. I mean, what what sort of noticeable it's those guys. thrust you, would you, you would you it. have there? You hit on it There's right there, nothing. Though. They're all they're not going after uh, like Highsmith, like people thought when right. TJ yeah. Watt. They're doubling Cam Hayward on every play. Right. Yep. right. And so and they, they should be free to make plays. Right. You're, you're and inside zip. backers should be flying to the football if two offensive linemen are constantly occupying one guy to take him out of the play, and their their guys aren't good enough. Yep. And listen, Brian Flores was brought in to fix that group, and I think he's obviously done good things for them, but not enough with those guys. Devin Bush be oh my god he hasn't it's the lowered expectations Matt exactly. TV skit for him he again. He made a tackle. Oh he had 12 tackles. Oh. He hasn't looked good. He was crowing no. about stopping Kareem Hunt short and then Joel and, Batonio. And they also had them. Terrell Edmonds covering Amari Cooper which is a schematic mistake. Yeah. Right? Oh, they, they were out, I thought they were out scheme pretty thoroughly on Thursday night. You saw a lot of Browns running free know, all night against do, that do defense. Do you know what do you know what they ran into guys. Mm. A team that with Brissett back there, and they know he is what he is. He's mm -hmm. limited, but, but he, he has was pretty a comfortable he has a pretty in this arm. game. Yeah. Well, yeah, they have a great line they knew to protect what him. They did well. They, they know what their identity and is. And continued yeah. to right. do it. They never wanted to do that with Baker Mayfield because he was the number right. one overall like pick. Like last year in Cleveland, but, Pittsburgh, they never ran Jacoby the ball. With Jacoby Brissett, they know we are a run first, run second, mm -hmm. run third team, right. and we'll yeah. sprinkle in Jacoby Brissett. And guess what? Yeah. As long as you're healthy up front right. with that line and those backs, it's going to work. And boy, did they take advantage of the Steelers' lack of physicality on defense. When was the last time you saw Steelers defense just get punched in the mouth like that? Two weeks in a row. Two weeks in a row. That's what I'm talking Man. about. Even without yeah. Watt against the run, you would expect some progress compared to last year. And if you look at the numbers of the last two weeks, they're almost identical to what we saw last year. And you don't want that to be the case. No. You want to get better. And even without Watt, they can't do it. So he's going to be gone a couple more weeks. We'll see after that because it's the Jets, then Buffalo, and Tampa Bay in that order. When we come back, we're going to talk about how much is a historic baseball worth? And what would your plan of attack be if you caught one in right or left field or center field? We'll talk about that when we come back right here on the number one Cochrane Sports Showdown. The Sports Showdown is sponsored by GMC Sierra.